When you think of the world's most expensive cities, Luanda, Angola's capital, doesn't appear as a probable contender. Its 27 years of brutal civil war has defaced the city and crippled its infrastructure. Yet, it's trying hard to live up to its expensive reputation and change its denting image. Luanda is the capital of Africa's second largest oil producer. It is chaotic and it's still scarred by decades of civil war. But as you can see behind me, it is on the mend and Luanda's skyline is changing. Angola's capital is being rebuilt. The varied architecture from the 50s and 60s is giving way to new office towers that are being built between the national corporate sector and the Angolan government. We are here in the middle of a public-private partnership, which is the Luanda Bay project, 100% uh, private investment in the requalification of a public space. Uh, additionally to that, one of the basics of the project was to clean the waters of the bay. And in return for that investment, the Angolan government gave to uh, Sociedad Bahia de Luanda, the investor, uh, a set of concessions, notably uh, commercial spaces, but to the benefit, the most important uh, uh, concession is the, the, the ability to develop uh, real estate uh, land plots. These real estate plots are rapidly attracting international investment companies that are venturing in this project. Analysts believe it's what will improve Angola's image. It's a symbolic investment for, for Luanda and for the government of Angola. This is a, a special place and to make the, the requalification of this place is very important for the image and for the turnover of the image of Angola. With an investment of $400 million, Luanda doesn't yet have the glitz and glamour of New York or Tokyo. And an average hotel will still set you back $450 per night. But the once called Rio of Africa is trying hard to place itself in the global economy and become the cosmopolitan city it aspires to be. Julie Shire, CCTV, Luanda, Angola.